Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to our ongoing studies in regards to the 14 rules of prophetic interpretation. And uh, we will continue uh, where we left off. We are on rule number three. And so let us get into our study. Rule number three says this. Nothing revealed in the scripture can or will be hid from those who ask in faith, not wavering. We see the importance of this rule so far. Uh, it's plain and simple to understand. There is nothing hid from those that really desire to search and to get to know God's will for their lives. And so as we continue to study the scriptures together, we're going to see that God has in His Word the will, His will, clearly revealed in the Holy Scriptures. And so I would like to invite you at this time to uh, follow along with me if you're able. If you have your Bible, uh, get your pen or paper, pen and paper, so that we can go through these verses together. Notice what Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 says. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. And so we clearly see in this verse that everything that is revealed to us is for us and our children. In other words, the whole Bible, which is a revel revelation of Jesus Christ, is clearly revealed to us. And so we must take that as our possession and um, diligently seek, as we saw in our previous rules, that uh, the, the man or woman that desires to know what is clearly revealed, they must di diligently seek that which has been revealed. You see, everything that God has revealed to us has been made plain to us, has been made uh, clear um, as we diligently seek for that truth that apparently is hidden from our uh, superficial sight, if you uh, could understand what I'm saying. But let's continue to look at what the Bible has to say about this. So we know this is one of the first proofs of this rule that everything that God has revealed to us um, is for us. If there be something that be hidden from us, if there be something that has not been revealed to us in His Word, then that is not for us to know. You see, there's going to be many things that we will be ever learning. The science of salvation, you know, and, and many wonderful joys that we do not see here today. Um... So we can look forward to learning even more than we can learn today. But we have more than enough um, that has been revealed to us through his word. Notice what Matthew chapter 10, 26 says. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid there that shall not be known. Verse 27. What I tell you. In darkness that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops. And so whatever it is that Christ reveals to us is not something that's going to be held in silence. These are things that Christ wants us to explain. And so this is the purpose of our videos. We would like to explain these things as they are clearly revealed in the Word of God, as we clearly see them laid out for us, as we diligently seek through these verses, we will see these gems uh, clearly revealed. And so these things that have been revealed to us are for us, and there is nothing hid that we should not know. There is Everything we need to know about the plan of salvation, everything we need to know about Jesus, everything we need to know about heaven, about death, about everything that takes place here upon this planet 
it has been clearly revealed to us if we diligently seek for that. And so it's up to us. It's up to the seeker, the one that is investigating for these things. And that's what we want to do as we look at these 14 rules, uh, the importance of laying out these principles so we know what the Bible has to say. These are some precious promises for us to understand about God's word. Notice 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit, that is, His Word. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. As God sees our desire to know the truth, then He sends us His Spirit so that He can teach us all things. This is exactly what the Bible teaches. It teaches us that, um, I believe it's in uh, John chapter 14, 15, and 16. Study those chapters. The whole purpose of God giving us His Spirit is so that He can teach us. So that He can be the one to reveal these things to us. Even prophecy. And we will see that more than likely as we continue in these, uh, in these roles. And so even the deep things of God. So if we understand that the Bible says there are deep things, then these are things that are not on the superficial level. They're not things that when we open the Bible, they're going to be just laid out for us. These are things that we have to dig for. These are things that we're going to have to work for. And so we need to take time to investigate, research, you know. And so, and this is what we're learning as we look into these rules. We're learning how to investigate. We're learning how to do um, that diligent study that God is calling us to do. Notice Philipp Philippians chapter 3 verse 15. Let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. And so if we are in a state of mind at this point in time, don't um, don't give up on doing that research. You, you must endure because at this point in time, you're probably just learning some basic principles. These are probably, probably some things that you've never heard before. And at times we can get overwhelmed. Once again, I didn't get here um, just one day to the next. It wasn't um, just out of us all of a sudden God just stored all the all of these things in my mind this was a process this was experiences that I had to go through as God revealed these things to me as I studied investigated did my own um, diligent study as well in regards to these rules in regards to doctrine which is teachings and um, things of that nature we have by nature a carnal mind and so as we open the scriptures for the first time if this could be your first time opening them you're not going to understand it as easily there are things that are superficial and easily to be understood but there are other things that are deep which takes more effort and more time uh, more brain work so don't be um, dismayed by it don't be discouraged according to this promise those things even those um, those things God shall reveal this unto you that's a promise that's something that we can take to the bank because it's gonna take place as long as we're diligent in our study notice what Isaiah 45 11 says thus says the Lord the Holy One of Israel and his Maker ask me things to come concerning my sons that's you and me we are his sons we are his creation and so God says um, if we have any questions ask me things to come those are prophecies those are things that have not yet taken place and so if we have any questions about the future 
are we supposed to go to um you know the uh sorcerers or are we supposed to go to uh psychics are we supposed to go to uh you know even religious leaders in regards to this no you know i mean the first thing we need to do is go to god on our knees let's bow before the one that can give you and reveal these things to you through his word it's okay to ask for people's uh or certain um persons whether it be a pastor whether it be uh, some type of religious leader it's okay to ask don't get me wrong but that is not the foundation of your faith that is not what you want to base your faith on base your faith on what the word of god says and the word of god only that is the base basis of your faith your foundation and so keeping that in mind you ask whoever you may about a certain subject and you write that down and say thank you then you go home you research that you write down everything in regards to whatever the subject may be remember we, we read that in the first um, rule every subject has to have its proper bearing it has to have um, the word must have its proper application as well which is in the rule number two and so these are things that you can practically take in in your religious experience as you get to know Christ you need to um, apply these things properly and so as you receive any information from whoever even myself you know these are not things that you are to take at my word go back home and look at these things for yourself look at the context look at look at what God says in the verses above and the verses beneath and uh, get the whole story from that because we can't base our belief on just one verse on one text unfortunately that's what's taking place in many religious um, circles and so this lets us know that if we want to know if there's anything we want to know about the future we ought not go to any man we ought to go to God this is another promise to us he will reveal these things to us if we are diligent in um, getting on our knees before him and he will answer he says and concerning the work of my hands command ye me and so if we have any questions about creation if we have any questions about the things that take place here upon this earth who are we to ask are we to ask a teacher are we to ask a um, a person of high position no according to this verse we are told to go to God the creator of these things and he will answer answer us how does he answer us through his word plainly revealed to us it's all there and so if you haven't exhausted your resources in regards to God's word then before you try to go anyone to anyone else the first place we need to go is to God and he will answer and to his word of course and so Matthew 21 22 says this and all things whatsoever you you shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive and so here's another promise if there's anything you want to know in regards to God's word if we truly believe that God um, will answer according to this promise then the promise says ye shall receive ye shall it's not maybe it's not there's a possibility ye shall receive that's a promise you see these are precious promises friends let's not uh, limit God's power in responding to these um, promises these are not fairy tales these are not things that we are to take lightly if we have any problems any issues taking place in your life 
the 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 one that will resolve your issues is your creator your redeemer and that alone brings peace upon my heart i don't know about you i don't know about you but i know that these precious promises i can take them and take a hold of them and know that god will answer them and so please take advantage of these promises notice what john 14 13 and 14 says and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son if ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it and so the will of our Redeemer of our Savior is to do that which we ask for of course we're not going to go asking for things that are against his will because those are simply things that he will not answer he's not going to answer things like Lord I want to be a millionaire although you might become a millionaire uh, these are not things that are according to God's will God's will is clearly revealed in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ was the manifestation of the will of God here upon earth and so as we look at the life of Christ so if we were to take the life of Christ as our example in all things if there is something that um, we are dealing with in our life if, whatever they may be just like Christ depended upon the father in all things and he fulfilled the will of the father so should we and so pertaining to things that deal with your salvation that deal with the salvation of others that deal with things that are of heavenly value God will answer that prayer if you believe it Jesus promises that and so do not second guess his promises if he says he will do it believe it and do it because he promised it notice what John 15 7 says if ye abide in me so if if lets us know that there's a requirement in receiving this promise if ye abide in me this is Jesus Christ speaking and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you and so if we abide in Christ and so this is a subject that we should get into at some point in time what does it mean to abide in Christ what does it mean to abide in him does that mean that I can um, go ahead and just do anything I please does that mean that I'm going to um, go ahead and still go ahead and kill people and everything is fine because I think that I'm abiding in him no on the contrary if you're abiding in him you will be living like him this is why it's very important for us to behold the lamb to take a look at the life of Christ as we take a look at his life we know what it is that God requires of us you know as we look at his character at, at the way he uh, healed the sick as the, at the way he reached out um, to seek and save that which was lost see these are things that only one that is abiding in Christ can do and so as we abide in him according to this promise if we abide in him and his words abide in us as well so does that mean that all I have to do is just read a chapter a day and I'm good no this actually means that we are going to get his word and memorize it as much as I can and this way his word is actively abiding in me not just to memorize it but to actually live it notice what James 
chapter 1 verses 5 and 6 say if any of you lack wisdom and wisdom simply means knowledge education this is the the true science of education is that wisdom which comes from God if we lack this knowledge let him ask to ask of God that giveth all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him notice verse 6 but let him ask in faith not wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed and so if we are in lack of understanding in regards to God's word what are we supposed to do ask God the promise is that if we ask he will give liberal liberally and upbraideth not which means that he will not hold it from you he's not gonna hold back from giving you these things if you sincerely are asking for it now if you're asking that means that you're also at the same time simultaneously you're also searching you're also doing everything at your reach to receive this wisdom and so as we have been saying in other occasions our textbook in these studies have been the Word of God and we're making that very plain and so you have the textbook and now you're learning these rules so as you are praying for wisdom God is already answering your prayer God is teaching you how to uh, study his word and how to gain that knowledge and wisdom and so but we must ask in faith not wavering a, a person that wavers is a person that will ask but does not believe it it doesn't and this is clearly shown in that person's life because they are not living out their prayers they ask for freedom from temptations but yet they're going where that temptation is you know and I don't say this just for you that I'm saying this for myself this is something that I also deal with as a man because I also have that fallen nature and I'm praying to God asking him and by his grace and his um, power which is given to us through the scriptures I'm able to overcome whatever it is that's the promise if we have faith and we don't waver in that faith that means we're not going to doubt even slightly his word then he will give us those things because a man that wavers according to what James is telling us here is a man that is driven as though he was tossed back and forth in the sea back and forth back and forth and that's the fallen nature if you have not been born again that is something that you shall you will go through because you're gonna be striving in your own strength you're gonna be trying to keep God's law in your own strength and this is not something that man can do so the first thing to do is pray earnestly and work out your prayers so once again if you are being tempted by whatever it is the best thing to do is to stay away from that temptation whatever it is whatever it might be it might be um, too much television well stay away from the television throw it out give it away out, sell it whatever that temptation might be whatever is keeping you from studying his word needs to be done away with you can't keep praying for deliverance from those things as long as you still have them in your life and so God gives us this wisdom God gives us the understanding that if I want to overcome in whatever situation I need to do away with that which is in the way of my salvation in your salvation and so 
James lets us know that anything that we desire from God, which is in accordance to His will, once again, God gives it as long as we do not lack um, or as long as we do not waver in our faith. Notice what 1 John 5.13 says. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Verse 15, And if we know that He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. And so, this verse is that which I have been pretty much um, just hinting to as we've been talking about these other verses. This verse or verses confirms that one may ask, but when we ask, we ask that which is in accordance to His will. And this is how we know that He hears us. Because when we ask, we're not, we're not asking for what I want. We're not asking for my will to be, be done. We are asking for the will of the Father. We are asking for the will of our Savior to be done. And as we ask for these things, we, we know that is the assurance, the faith that we have in that He does hear us. Whatsoever we may ask, whatever it might be. If you want to know more about Bible, if you want to know more about Bible, um, prophecy, if you want to know more about salvation, if you want to know more about Jesus Christ, it's at your reach. As long as you ask for it. Because this is God's will. God wants us to know these things. So, my appeal to you, my beloved viewer, endure as you continue to study the scriptures. As you continue to search out the salvation that God has freely given to you. Do not waver. Do not be in dismay. Continue to study. Continue to come and watch our next videos. And uh, by all means, share these videos with your loved ones, with your friends. And um, I pray that you are blessed as we continue to study the Word of God together. Thank you.